Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and staying balanced after this eclipse that we had, which was very, very intense. Um, so just a couple of things before we get into today's reading. Number one, I'm so sorry I did not post a video last week. Um, my day job, my studio, a fitness studio that I own, opened finally after seven months of lockdown and so I had to just really, really, really get busy with that. Um, they didn't inform us until like very last minute, so I only had like two days to prepare, so it was just crazy. And it's actually the worst season for them to have opened us, but it is what it is. And then most importantly, thank you so much to everybody who prayed and sent healing energy for Charlie, which is the cat that I have at the clinic. Um, every little bit of positive healing energy helps. He's still doing okay, but actually Sunday and Monday are the most critical days, which will determine, you know, whether he will survive or not. So we're still not out of the woods yet. Um... But yeah, um, I'm feeling very, very hopeful. So just keep praying for him if you guys can. It means so, so much to me. He's the sweetest cat ever. He's so affectionate. He's only a year old and it's just such a shame. He survived liver and kidney failure like a month ago. He like miraculously <laughs> recovered from that. Um, the doctors couldn't even understand how, but he did and he's still okay in that department. But he, he broke his diaphragm probably from a hit. So most likely he got hit by a car. So it's just a shame for him to have survived so much only to, you know, go from something like that. And I'm either going to adopt him or find a home for him. Um, yeah, so also, if you if you would like to donate to the animal rescue that has been helping me with a couple of these stray cats. It's the key to Lion's Heart. I will include the link in the description box. It's actually owned by, by my sister and it's actually more of a dog rescue. It's based in the United States and she really does an amazing job. I mean, she has helped so many dogs find homes and just with their surgeries and medical issues. I mean, it's just amazing what she does. She like never stops. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to donate to the animal rescue, then I will have the link in the description. And final thing I want to say on a more positive note is that a good friend of mine, she has an Etsy shop. It's called Arsenic and Stardust. I will also include that link in case anybody's interested. And she makes these amazing <laughs> dolls. Like, they're just so beautiful. And once I saw them, I was like, I need to show this, you know, on YouTube because it's just so freaking beautiful. And she makes a whole bunch of them with different themes, different concepts. They're all different. They're all handmade with a lot of love and just so much positive intention in them. So she gave me this one to use as an example. So if you guys can see this. So it's actually a card reader. I mean, just look at the detail. Look at the detail here. I love this. I love this so much. She's holding a crystal ball that has like little um, glitter in it. Like it's just, it's amazing. Her tarot cards <laughs> down here. So. I will include that link in case anybody is interested in looking at her merchandise. I don't I I don't make a commission or anything. I just love it and that's why I wanted to show you guys. All right. So, with all of that said, and I probably will um timestamp when the reading starts because that was a long introduction, a lot longer than what I usually do. So, today's reading is going to be um the one that I skipped over last week, which is Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, in Divine Soulmate Connections could be Twin Soul Connections where there is a third party involved, all right? A karmic situation or a karmic partner. So I will be doing the reading as if the it's a Divine Masculine who has a karmic partner, but you can take the messages as they make sense for you. And because it's general, it might not be for all of you, all right? And that's completely okay. If you want a personal reading, again, all that information is in the description box. All right, so I will try to keep this a little bit shorter than usual. We'll look at the masculine's energy towards 
their karmic situation as well as towards their feminine. And then I'm probably just going to get just a couple of messages for the feminines, not too much because I do hope to do a separate reading for that because I feel like there's a lot going on with the feminines. And usually the most important messages come through for the feminine, so I just might do that separately. We'll see. All right. So let's see. What is going on <clears throat> with the masculines right now? Just overall. All right, and we have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Okay, so this is a lot of nostalgia. I feel like this has been coming up a lot lately, also in my um, personal readings. So a lot of feelings coming up from the past, which I feel are serving to help to push them out of their comfort zone in some way, like remembering certain things, how things were, a time that was happy, a time that was joyful, a time where they actually felt like things were in alignment, okay? Because this is not actually a very um, positive energy to be in. It's like, I mean, just by the image alone, okay? You can see that. So a lot of feelings are coming up from the past concerning how they used to be at some point, and there's a nostalgia to want to feel that way again. And I do feel like this is related to their divine feminines. So let's see what else. Alright, we have stuck, we have deception, and we have vibrations. Okay, good. So I'm glad to see the vibrations card because this is telling me that this is the masculine really wanting to come out of the stuckness and really wanting to come out of the deception because their life right now is a deception because, as I said, it's not in alignment. And this is why they're having those um, emotions resurfacing from the past, remembering things from the past. And this is what they want to go back to, okay? Because at the moment they are feeling stuck. But here's the thing. There's also heightened awareness um, during this time period, all right? This eclipse was just, there was just so much involved. This was not just any eclipse, all right? This was a very, very um, intense and strong one. Um, it was actually very, very special, all right? There's just so much involved in it, like Mercury being involved, and it's in Gemini, so, and Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, so it's just so much to it. So all of this is bringing a heightened awareness where they are able to see things that they were not able to see before. They're able to think in a certain way that they were not able to think before and just see little things, okay? And... So some of these things that they are seeing is the stuckness and the deception wanting to change that vibration, knowing that something has to shift, something has to change. And I feel like the, the divine is intervening right now. There are so many things happening that just feel faded because there's this push to come out of the comfort zone. So let's, let's get some tarot and see what is going on so this deck is a little difficult to shuffle and get the cards the way I normally do so I'm just gonna pull from the top so what is going on with the masculines who are involved in karmic relationships third-party situations in general And I'm only going to take upright in today's reading. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the World. Okay, wow, what a powerful combination here. So there's a lot of heavy energy, all right? A lot of heavy energy. Um, we have the Eight of Swords again. It's like that stuck card, all right? Feeling like I don't know what to do. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling trapped. However... The Eight of Swords is right between the Ten of Swords and the world. So this is what they want to bring to an ending. They're feeling the ending of this stuckness. The ending of over analyzing. 
and it is a very painful and difficult process so i feel like the masculines right now they're not going through a very happy time at all all right there's a lot of emotions coming up from the past which are very very intense they're feeling them very intensely and they're also feeling this ending they're they know that something has pretty much already ended all right with the world being here this is a chapter that needs to end and they are getting the signs for that very strongly from the universe right now okay they are in the process of closing out this cycle at a very very deep level and it's just it's very very painful for them and it's not when i say painful it doesn't necessarily mean that it's painful because of the person that they are with if they are ending you know let's say a marriage or another relationship <clears throat> It's, it's more of an identity issue. Okay, like what does that mean about them? How does that change who they are? It's like an ego death. So yes, there is still stress about it, a lot of it. So let's see more specifically, what is their energy towards their karmic situation? Okay, we have the devil, the queen of swords, <clears throat> and justice. Guys, this is like, wow. <laughs> okay, crazy intense energy in this reading for the masculine so far. All right, so there's a lot of toxicity. There's still, I feel like right now, they're like in the middle of the storm. Okay, this is what's happening. They're in the middle of the storm when it comes to what is going on in their karmic relationship or in their karmic situation. There is a lot of fear, but all of this is coming up to the surface because they are processing it and they are ready to cut this out. They do not want this toxicity anymore. For some of them, it could be um, codependence, it could be addictions. It could be insecurities, fears, they're tired of it. And not, and not only that, they're just so aware of it. Okay, they're having a lot of clarity on how toxic this relationship is. Even if they are, let's say, from one aspect, on good terms with this person, if it's a person, they still are aware of how toxic it is to them because it is not in alignment with them and their vibration is changing their frequency is changing and so now it is becoming more and more clear how incompatible and how toxic this can be for them and this is exactly why we have justice at the end here of this combination because they are wanting to bring this balance and justice can also represent divorce okay for some of them who are married and it's also about the karmic balance all right and resolving karma Things are, are coming to an end here. All right, we have justice right under the world. Like this could not be, I, I don't see how it could be more intense than what it is right now. Okay, so whatever group I'm tapping into, and I do feel like it is for um, a large portion of my viewers, and for those of you who tend to resonate with my readings, things are really coming to an end here. It's still a process. I'm not saying it's happening tomorrow. It's still a process, but really heavy things are happening and things are shifting and it's very very difficult so let's move on and see what their um <clears throat> energy is towards their feminine Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So if you could, I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> That's fireworks. All right, happening during my reading. So, all right. So when it comes to the feminine, the masculines are 
trying to find some kind of a balance. I feel like a lot of these emotions are coming up, as I said, all right, from the past, and they're having a hard time actually dealing with those emotions at the same time as they are processing this ending with the karmic situation because it's very, very painful. Um, they're trying to sort through their fears. They're trying to cut out this um, negative thinking pattern or whatever it is that has been their obstacle, really becoming aware of that. And like I said, that's difficult because it's like an ego death when once you realize what your blocks are and how you yourself have been holding yourself back, all right? So that's what the masculines are processing on the karmic side. And so the feelings coming up for the feminine, it just feels like there is so much on their plate. There is so much that they are trying to handle. It's like they're being um, hit from all sides at the moment. And so this is making them very, very restless. And it's like they're working hard here to balance themselves out. They're putting in a lot of effort to really acknowledge their true authenticity, their true feelings about the, about the feminine. No more denial. That was deception, and they knew that. No more repression, right? The emotions are coming up. So let's get one more row here. The Four of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Hanged Man. I'm telling you, they're feeling these feelings. They know that this is where they want to be. They know that this is where they belong, all right, with the Four of Wands. And because they don't have that, they're feeling a crazy amount of stress right now, all right, with the Nine of Swords. We have both, we have the Eight, the Nine, and the Ten of Swords, as well as the Devil out on the table here for the Masculine's energy. I feel like this is the heaviest energy I have seen for the Masculine's in a very, very, very long time. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen heavier energy for them. They're feeling stressed and a lot of a lot of thoughts going on in their head for having for having stayed stagnant. For not having taken more action towards you. Because they feel this four of wands energy. They feel that this is their stability. They feel the bond, they feel this union. And the fact that they don't have that is creating a lot of stress for them. I'm also picking up on some guilt here. I feel like one of the reasons why, if you feel like your masculine has been holding back more so lately than before, it's because they're feeling a lot of guilt. So I actually want to clarify just a couple of these. Um, let's clarify the devil for their energy towards the karmic. We have the Empress, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles again. And the Ten of Swords showing up again, all right? Which we, was their very first card out. So this is the, yeah, like the fears that they know have kept them away from their feminine. Knowing that the blocks that they've had, the fear of an ending, the fact that they were not able to find that balance in order to allow this ending to happen has, is what has kept them away from their Divine Feminine. And again, this is something that is coming to an end, okay? It cannot be more clear here, having the Ten of Swords showing up again. And like I said, it's, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult for them. Let me clarify <clears throat> the Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. And 
and the Five of Wands. So a lot of stress concerning what they have done in the past that has created so much conflict. And I feel like for a lot of you, this may even be like recent. So if you've been in communication, if you've had contact, I feel like there has been um, possibly either some arguments or just a lot of tension. And this is because of this Two of Pentacles, right? Which is causing a lot of confusion for the masculines um, because they just have so much on their plate right now. There's so much that they're trying to figure out. They are um, just weighing out so many options, considering so many alternatives as to how to go about and just thinking about if I do this, it's going to lead to that. If I do do it this way, it's going to have this type of an outcome. And what if this happens? And what if that happens? So there's a lot of that going on. And not only that, but having kept away from you, having kept their energy back from you for so long, what kind of a conflict is that going to result in, even if there is union? So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fear when it comes to the connection with the feminine and how things would be. And at the same time, they're resolving the fear concerning leaving the karmic partner or the karmic situation. So I actually feel like there is more fear concerning the divine feminine currently than there is for the karmic part, leaving the karmic partner. This is just something that they're processing. They're just dealing with the emotions that they are, that they need to overcome in order to move towards this justice and this world. But for the feminines, there's still, there's still some fear here. And it's this fear that is holding them back from you. The love is definitely there. It's just the fear holding back. But like I said, they're putting in effort to try to keep themselves in a, in a balance. And it's hard because also there's these shifts, the vibrational shifts that are happening for them. Okay, so let's move on to what is coming up. So for the next week or so, what is coming up for the masculines when it comes to the karmic situation? Alright, we have Temperance, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is good because they're finding a sense of balance and they are able to find some kind of a moderation within themselves. Like, how much pain can I handle? How much of this pain is really just in my head? How much of this pain is actually created in my own mind? I love that we have the Ace of Cups because this to me, in this particular case, it's representing self-love. Understanding, as I said, these blocks. What is it that held them back? What is it that kept them in a deceptive type of a state? This is where the balance is coming. And so I do see them moving towards a calmer state, which is good because as long as they are in this really intense state, it's going to be hard to fully um, manifest this justice and really bring it to a completion, okay? This is overall what they're working towards. This is what is happening. This is a lot of divine intervention, okay? So this is the overall like um, theme here and where they're moving towards. But in the next week or so, they're finding their balance, which is something that really needs to be done. They're finding their balance, and I do feel like they're seeing the deception. 
more clearly than they have ever seen it before. And they're seeing how that was going against their own self-love, their own self. Their vibration is going to increase a lot to the point where the Seven of Swords is no longer going to be tolerated. The deception is no longer going to be tolerated. So let's see for their energy towards their feminines. The Lovers, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, wow. So these feelings that are coming up from the past, they're going to be amplified. Not only that, not only are these emotions and feelings, the love that they feel for their feminine, amplified in the next week or so. I actually see them... Um, if you're not in communication, there's likely communication here with this page of wands. All right, coming forward. Coming forward for, oh, I mean, ace of wands can totally be a reconciliation. Wanting to have a new path with you. Wanting to have a new, a new dynamic. Wanting to start off this path. So I know for that for some of you, you... You might not be willing to accept this just yet, and that's fine. So I'm just telling you what the masculine's energy is going to be. Um, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of drive, and a lot of enthusiasm for a new beginning or a re-sparking of the connection with you. Some of them are going to communicate in some way. And so you might pick up on this. And for others of you, you might just feel it energetically. There might just be little hints here and there. And I feel like this is going to be representative of the fact that some of these fears that they have concerning the feminine are being um, dissolved. And that's going to come with the um, increase in their vibration. So right now they're going through some very, very heavy, heavy energies, um, especially concerning the, the karmic situation. They're moving towards a place of balance when it comes to that, having a lot of clarity as to what their fears have been, as to what the obstacles have been. There's a lot of divine intervention here to point this out to them. And really what I feel that this vibrations is this new shift in vibrations. It's helping them to adjust um, to a new situation, but like um, in advance, you know, so that they are prepared. This new vibration that they're, they're, they're going to be holding is what is going to be needed in order to have this connection with the divine feminine. And so it's happening now so that they can be prepared for that and adjust to it in advance. It's like a preparation. Um, and it's also the same vibration shift that is pushing them out of the stuckness, that is helping them to see and feel that th like this, this connection here just cannot work anymore. It's just not in alignment. It just, it just clashes more and more. Okay, so let's let me just get a couple of messages for the feminine. Just any message that wants to come through for the feminine. That card went flying. Give me a sec, guys. I don't know if I can catch it actually. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. So maybe there's a reason for it. I'm gonna use a different deck. Um, let's use this one.
All right, we have numbing, forgiveness, and free will. Okay, so some of you might be trying to numb certain emotions out because I'm sure that emotions have resurfaced for you as well and they might be a little bit intense, they might be a little difficult to handle, especially when you feel like you've been on a, on a great path and that you've been moving forward. Um, so the message here is just to be a little bit mindful of what it is that you are numbing out and especially if it has to do with forgiveness, either forgiving yourself or if there's still a, a little bit of resentment um, when it comes to this situation. We also have free will. So I feel like the resentment could be associated with, you know, the choices that, that the masculine has made. So that might be something, it might just be a message for some of you. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but I feel like for some of you, it's definitely, um, a message here. Okay. And then for others of you, it's also about really, you know, understanding the, how free will plays a part in all of this, in what you do and what the masculine does, but then also how divine intervention works. And it's a very complicated um, concept, actually, how the two like um, collaborate together, divine intervention and free will. So it's like a little bit of, of both. And that might be something that that has been um, perplexing you. So for some of you, that could just be an issue to try to go deeper into because it might just help you to gain some insights and also how that might tie into some resentment or or to forgiveness. Okay, so let me just get just a couple more um, oracle cards just to close out the reading. All right, we have fork in the road. So this is all about really being in that position of making a choice. And this could actually apply to the both of you, both um, the masculine as well as the feminine. Being at a crossroads. And what I'm getting that the message is here is follow the signs. You've been getting signs as concerning which way to go. Okay, so if there is something you've been thinking about, um, I actually did see the contemplation card um, while I was shuffling for, for the first cards. So if you have been doing a lot of thinking concerning which way should I go, should I take this path or should I take that path? For some of you, this could definitely be concerning moving away um, from the connection with your masculine or kind of just sticking around, you know, follow the signs. For each of you, it's going to be different. And I do also see this being um, also for the masculine, just really standing there, looking at the signs <laughs> and being like, OK, I see the signs. I see the signs. I, I finally see the signs clear as day. Heightened awareness. Okay, let's see what else. All right, and we have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So yeah, take that however it resonates for you, however it might fit into your situation, if it does, okay? So if there's any um, pride that maybe is interfering with the forgiveness or with releasing resentment, or it might even be related to the numbing, okay? Because sometimes we might numb something out because of our ego, because we have this pride. And so we don't want to face something because it would be a threat to our ego, okay? So be mindful of that. And I'm actually going to get one last, one last card. All right, and we have intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. So yeah, this is what I was talking about before about um, the signs and the fork in the road, okay? Follow your intuition. I feel like the feminine is definitely at a um, crossroads right now. So just listen to your intuition. You are getting signs. You do have divine support, okay? 
and that can help you to choose your path. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonated with you. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.